Hello. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Rex. I don't know if, if I didn't respond. It's because I get a lot of DMs. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I'm just a little overloaded right now, so I might not respond right away to certain things. I get lots and lots and lots of requests all the time. Yeah. So if I don't respond, just nudge me in the DM. Um, I'll be sure to respond there. But yeah, thank you so much for offering that. That's very kind of you. Hi, Black Caesar. Hello. How are you? Welcome. It's good to see you today. Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, I do have a little bit of a headache. And also announcement chat. There will be no stream on Thursday because I will be away on business travel. I'll be away on business travel. I'm leaving early in the morning tomorrow and I'll be back on Saturday. So there will be no Thursday stream, but I'll be back on Saturday. Yeah, I think it's a caffeine headache actually. I think because I had a cup of decaf, but I think even decaf gets to me. Hi, Brother Bill. Hi, Frisky Gatto. Hi, it's nice to see you. Welcome. Brother Bill, how are you doing? Nice to see you. So I'm drinking tea today. I got some blueberry tea. That's really good. It's really, really good. Ash is grinding. Uh, well, I guess in a way, yeah. It's more like uh, I just have work responsibilities that uh, require my time very, very often. Hi, Nizzy. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm try I went for like a very natural look today. A very relaxed look today. Since I know I have to travel tomorrow, um, yeah, I, I didn't want to put a lot on my face. Hi, Kim Sanity. Thank you, Rex. I appreciate that. Thank you. How you doing, Kim? How's it going? I hope you all are doing great. We're going to play more of the Crimson Diamond today. I figure we pick something very chill and awesome and amazing. And we just have a nice little cozy time playing playing uh, a great game developed by somebody who streams here on Twitch under a maple mystery. Hi, Namalki. Welcome. How are you? Look, there's Bobby. She's snoozing. That little rascal. Bobby's a little rascal. She is. When I'm not streaming, oh my gosh. She's one of the most chatty cats. I don't know why she doesn't... She doesn't meow when we're live. But as soon as the camera goes off, she's meowing at me. Like, all the time. I'm gonna have to take videos so y'all could see one day. She's a very chatty cat. This is one of my favorite songs on this playlist. I always like to let it play through. Telepathetic, congrats on third. Welcome in, nice to see you. Thanks for arriving. <laughs> How's it going? No. This is from Smash Bros. I don't remember where in the game it is. I think it's the trophy room. Let me see if it says. Sometimes these playlists tell you exactly where they're from. Yeah, it's the trophy gallery. I knew it. Yeah, it does feel like elevator music. Keeping busy? That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're doing well, Namalki. I'm glad you're keeping busy. Yeah! You're not home? Yeah, no. When you mentioned it, I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. We should go back and play the Crimson Diamond. All right, let me set it up here. I don't think I have it set up for capture. Let me set it up here. I've been wanting to play this. Oh my gosh, you totally should. Frisky Gatto, you totally should. 
just spun up the demo for metaphor i've been waiting forever not missing it home or not oh okay let me set it up let me set it up here okay let's pause that play the crimson diamond I'm gonna actually edit the sound here, system. Hold on, I just have to, you always have to edit a few things whenever you're streaming. Boom, that should be good now. Hi, anime hero, great to see you as well. How are you? How was your day? Okay, we're gonna do a game capture here. Uh, boom, cool, there we go, that should be that, make sure, yeah, okay, it should pop up any second, sometimes it takes a minute to pop up, there we go. Relaxing after a productive day. Good to see you. Yeah, great to see you as well. I hope this is the latest save. Yeah, this is the latest save for sure. Okay. So, we did get access to certain areas outside. And we did... Let's take a look at what we found in our inventory. Whoops. Let me go back to inventory window, notebook window. Yeah, let's take a look at our inventory and our notebook so we could figure out where we left off. <laughs> I hope everyone's chat is having a good day. Me too. I hope that for you all as well. Yeah, Rex, this is a modern game um, made to look like, I guess, yeah, like a Commodore 64 game, would you say, chat? Um, it's got like EGA graphic, e is it EGA or is it AGA color feel, color palette? Sorry, my brain. Woo. Um, this came out recently, Rex. This came out like, I think right before TwitchCon, which was, I think in September. And Julia Minamata is a broadcaster here on Twitch. And this is her game. She developed it. And is absolutely incredible. Hi, Ray Mods. Welcome. EGA. Thank you, DOS. Thank you, Brother Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Julia Minamata made this game, and, and it, it was released this year. So, yes, this is a modern game made to look like our classic beloved games. Welcome, Ray Mods. How was your broadcast? I hope you had a good one. What did you do on your, on your channel today? Everyone from my channel, make sure to go and check out Ray Mods. Give them a follow. Go and hang out. They were doing the, they were doing some co-working. Co-working and studying. It's always a great thing to do. You get so much done. It's always nice to uh, double up with a friend. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome in. And I hope you all got a lot of work done and had maybe great conversations. Or if you didn't have a lot of conversations, you had a productive day. Yeah. Or your board exam. Oh, my gosh. Good luck. Last night playing Beyond Shadowgate. Oh yeah, Rex. Was that um I know General Andrews has been playing Beyond Shadowgate a lot. It's an excellent game. That's definitely one that I want to play as well. Um, because I love Shadowgate. I love it. Hi, Wessie. Yeah, welcome in. Everyone, please go and give Ray Mods a follow. We're playing, if you've never been here before, my name is Ash, and I play retro games and Nintendo games. And today we're playing a beautifully made game. This is a modern game made to look like DOS. EGA Graphics by a talented broadcaster and game developer named Julia Minamata. And this is called The Crimson Diamond. Oh, is Cobra Commander? Yeah, yeah, yes, I do know Cobra Commander. Yeah, I do. I follow Cobra Commander, yes. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. This is true. Also, thank you everyone for coming to the Bob Ross, 
broadcast yesterday. I know, um, oh, doof, let me take that off. Uh, I didn't stream yesterday, but I was on the Bob Ross channel. And it was really cool being on that channel. I felt very lucky that they invited me to be a part of the show. And it was cool to, to do a watch along of the Bob Ross episode. It was so good. I grew up watching Bob, Bob Ross, so that was, that was really fun. That was really fun to be a part of. So thanks, everybody, for coming in and, and uh, showing support. They said uh, it was a great episode, so I'm happy that they're happy. I'm always happy when they're happy. You know, these things ain't for me. It's for them. No, we didn't paint along. We watched the show, and we commented on the technique. I asked questions, and um, we had a, an official Bob Ross instructor who was on the show with me. It was me, a Bob Ross instructor, and a really talented broadcaster who does a lot of radio shows and podcasts. He does the, the Bob Ross podcast, and he's been doing it, I think, like he's up to like episode like 40 or something. But it was really cool because we got to talk from all kinds of perspectives about painting and um, how Bob Ross impacted us all. So that was really cool. That was really cool. Whoops. I did not mean to click that. What the heck? Get out of here, window. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's right. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff from the tool shed. We got a hammer. We got a river sample. We got fly paper. This box feels a bit light. Can we open it? We have a garden trowel. It's a pretty gift. There's a pretty gift documentary. Oh, there's a pretty good documentary on Bob Ross that was on Netflix. I'll have to watch it. You conclude this will be perfect for digging the river, river bank for specimens. Okay, we got a rope. We got a plate. I rub samples on the plate to help me identify specimen. My hat. And a bunch of other cool things. Cup full of water. Let's take a look at our notes. What does the telegraph tape say? Rub your samples on your streak plate. Obtain three samples from sources outside. We still need to do that. Nessa wants to search for Evan's will in the study. Evan tried to bribe Albert to report no diamonds in the crimson. We got a glass from the we got a glass from the cupboard and listened through the wall. Oh, we did do that. That is true. We did do that. Mm-hmm. And that's how we heard this conversation about the bribe. That's true. Ask people for fingerprints, revealing prints on the surface by applying powder and lift them with the tape. Yes, we did make a fingerprint kit. Find an item to help with listening to doors. Yeah, yeah, we did all of that. All right. Let's continue on our adventure. Can we talk? Hey, Jack, you look a little bored, bothered. Anything I can help you with? Never you mind, miss. But if you want to busy yourself, I've been missing my ice pick for at least a week. I don't need it right now, but it's just been on my mind. You know? Hmm. The missing ice pick. That's a mystery in itself, too. Hi, um, Ari. Hello. How are you? Welcome. It's nice to see you. How's it going today? How you doing? Oh, gosh. Let me fix my hair real quick, chat. I don't know what goes on with my hair sometimes, you know? It's just been really fuzzy lately. Maybe I need to go to the hair stylist. Maybe I need to go to the hairdresser. Maybe get my ends trimmed or something. I don't know. What's up? How was your day? What did you do today? We're playing a cool game called a Crimson Diamond. Okay, open door. Okay. Where can we gather some some more samples, maybe? 
can't pick up the axe. I wonder where the ice pick is. Hmm. Use shovel. Oh wait, shovel. Hold on. Dig. You've already obtained a sample from the river bank. But we have to obtain three samples. Can I look? Huh. Look. The interior of the shed is clean and well organized. There's a table and a stool and a shelf in the back holds various garden, gardening tending tools. I wonder if we need anything here. Right? Okay, look at, examine with loop. Oh, I wanna do that, search, open, close. Okay, X. Okay, wait. I'm trying to remember if there's a way for me to switch from walking to look. Open door, ask about lodges. Look at, open cupboard, game reviews, laundry, and home things. Taking Kitty out for a walk. <gasps> that sounds awesome. Wait a minute. Have you ever met Bobby? This is our cat, Bobby. She's sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to, I love rubbing her belly. Look. Hey, come here, girl. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that girl. Hey, sweet girl. She's like, why did you wake me up? <laughs> the look of confusion on her face cracks me up it tickles me it tickles me i'll be his two kitties and i'm finally moving from canada to the states in a month so three kitties oh my god that's awesome congrats that sounds really wonderful she's so cute she was vibing those tummy rubs and the one foot went up oh yeah and now she went right back to sleep she went right back to sleep mm-hmm Chat, do you all remember if I can change the walk to look? Or no, I just have to look at, look, okay, look at shelf. Whoops, look at shelf. Plant food, pesticides, herbicide, seed pot, a spray bottle watering can and a lantern nothing particularly useful can i take the bottle oh you see no need for that okay whatever let's get out of here let's see if there's anywhere else we can go to learn about things why why would you want to? oh gosh belly rubs is the best yeah Hey, what's this? Yeah, let's um let's curtail that kind of talk, Rex. I don't want it to turn into anything inherently negative or you know, make anyone feel bad about decisions that they're making about their life. You know. Um so let's just be careful there. But yeah. Thank you so much to the person that followed. And um, hey, Shine Spark, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Okay. What? Yeah. What can I do here? I feel like there's got to be something we could do here. What is that shiny thing? Can I use... Look, there's a jetty overlooking the rushing river. How's the moon logic? I 
have not encountered moon logic yet. Everything seems to make sense and doesn't, like, I haven't been, like, pixel hunting. I haven't had any, like, puzzles that made me feel like, oh, this didn't make sense. Like, everything kind of made logic, logical sense. Hi, Rand Scott. Hello. I know the pixel art in this game is fantastic. Yeah, thanks, thanks for um, thanks for understanding, Rex. I really appreciate you. Um, I really appreciate you hearing me out on that. Um, yeah, I haven't really. The only game I think I've ever played that kind of had like moon logic was um, Book of Kyrandia. Now that game has some moon logic. And I was like, why? There was one particular puzzle, if anybody's ever played it, where you had to, like, put diamonds or, like, put gemstones on a pedestal in a certain order. But the order could be random, depending on whatever. That was the only time when I was like, now nah, this is silly. Yeah. There's also Ultima. <laughs> yeah book of kyrandia rant scott have you ever completed it okay let's see what this says there's a jetty here overlooking the rushing river cattails line the riverbed and there's a rotting log lying on its side a dirt path leads north into the forest west leads to the bridge okay can we look at the log look at log the rotten log is well on its way to returning to the earth it's covered in moss and is starting to cave in can I hammer the log? Can I push log? Can I... Look, there's something sparkling here. I want to know what that is. You know, look inside log. The rotten log is full of moss and gross bugs. And a little metal whistle. <gasps> okay. Can I take whistle? You take the duck call from the rotten log. We did it. We did it. Star Trek 25th anniversary had a few moon logic puzzles, especially the one segment with the immortal being that wanted to be tried by the Klingon Empire. Oh my God. I did not get far enough. I need that's another game that we started. We started playing the Amiga version. And I didn't get past the first well, I finished the first like quest. The first the first thing. And then I think we got to the second quest and I didn't finish it. I need to go back to that one as well. One of the few games I looked at walkthrough in gaming, you fight Moon Logic with a concept called guideposting. Whoever made this game is great at guideposting. Yes, this is. Do you know Julia Minamata, Rand Scott? Julia made this game. Time to go freaking with that whistle, Captain Crunch. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Frisky Kato. Okay, let's look at our inventory. Let's take a look at this whistle. This metal reed duck call with a carved wooden case. Hmm. Can I use whistle? Wait, how do I use stuff? Uh, wh whistle? You put the duck call to your lips and blow. Did it do anything? Nope. I do not. Whistle. Yeah, Julia Minamata um, made this game. She streams under A underscore Ma Maple Mystery. And I actually have her name tagged in the title if you want to look up her channel. But yeah, she made this whole game. She's really cool. Okay. Um, can I dig here? Dig? You're already taking a river sample. Well, where else can I get a sample? Dig? I can't leave yet. I haven't accomplished my goals. That's not, that's definitely a thing for life. Is there any side anything inside this boathouse? 
We did open that stuff up. There's a canoe here. Can I save? Save. Please enter a name. Ash 2. One of the first hacks. What would you compare this game to? Yeah, Colonel's Bequest. 1,000%. Yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty sure that that was a big inspiration. Back in the day when you dialed on a payphone or a rotary phone, you could use a Captain Crunch whistle. And now, back to our show. Frisky Gatto, I was saying that that was really nuts. And I can't believe somebody figured that out. Welcome back. So I was saying, like, did it listen for the tone? And how long did they have to whistle in order to get the, 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 the number right? And, like, what if they did it wrong and then called the wrong number? What? That's so funny. My grandma had a rotary phone. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Whenever I hear about a whistle, I think of that. That's really funny. I can't believe. All right, let's go back. Has anybody um, completed this game, by the way, here in chat? Had to go all the way around the world to hit nine. <laughs> I was mainly payphone. Oh, it's for payphones. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what if I whistle here? Whistle. Let's see what happens. You put the duck call to your lips and blow. It didn't do a darn thing. They did not care. A duck? Where? Well done. Oh, snap, chat. We figured it out. Take bag. Kimmy could be back at any moment. What if she caught you looking through her things? And it's probably locked, but... Come on, just take the darn bag. Just look. Look at bag. Come on, she's not coming back. Looks like Kimmy was so anxious to see the comorants that she brought her suitcase with her to the cliff. A duck, like, everywhere? These youngins wouldn't survive their rotary phones. <laughs> We've quacked. Open. We've quacked open that mystery. All right, then. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, Rex. Yeah, enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner. I'm going to give Bobby one pet. I need to pet her soft fur. Okay. So why would she bring her suitcase to the cliff? And what would that mean? Tricky! Oh my gosh! Thank you for the Prime sub for 35 months! Tricky! That's almost three whole years! Good golly gee willikers! Thank you so much! I really appreciate you a lot. Okay. Mm. Hum, hum and a hum. Hi, Rev Brown. What's up? How are you today? We're playing more Crimson Diamond. Open suitcase. <laughs> okay. Look at bird. The double-crested cormorant is distinctively large with a swan-like neck, webbed feet, and a bright orange beak. Okay. Well, where did she go? Oh, she's back! Sorry for shouting. Talk. Talk, woman. Oh, hi, Nancy. I didn't see you there. Okay, so we know that's how we get her away. They clearly enjoy nesting here. You can see the boathouse east of here and the faintest indication of Carriage House North. You can see some shoe prints by the river bank. Kimmy is here. Okay, look at shoe print. 
and clearly see the shoe print Kimmy left behind when she strayed close to the river while looking for ducks. I'm glad she didn't slip on those rocks. I would have felt terrible. Uh, should I take a note of the shoe prints? Hi, Star Lord. Welcome. How are you? It's been that long. I don't think I have a concept of time anymore. The wild thing is that Ash has been streaming for 3.5 years. Wow, how fast time flies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know. I've been streaming. It's been five years. March will make six years. Isn't that nuts to think about? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm do. I'm glad you're doing well. Okay. Uh, hi, Muster. How are you? What's up? Let's see what's our inventory. Can we? Loop. X footprint. Upon closer inspection of Kimmy's shoe print, you conclude that she wears a size six or six and a half. I'm not sure if that'll be useful information, but now I know it. <laughs> ah, that's funny. A note has been added to your notebook. Oh, I'd better be careful and not stray too close to the edge of the river. What happens if I stray too? What? What? Nancy? Um... Hey, heed warnings and stay away from dangerous bodies of water. Oh my god. I didn't think that something bad would actually happen. I thought it would stop me. I have to do all that again. I have to do all of that over. <laughs> okay, whistle. Oh my god, chat. That's funny. Okay, so she freaks out. Oh, look, look, and when she makes the footprints. Okay. Look at foot footprint. Okay. X footprint. Okay. That's what the whistle does. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ford the river. Oh my god. Okay. Save. Save here. Okay, X suitcase. Okay, that would not benefit from closer examination. X bird. That would not benefit. Okay. Uh, look. Look at cliff. Look at cliff. Cliff rises so steeply you can't see the top of it. Type of rock formation is exactly what I've been hoping to see. What a breathtaking view of the Canadian Shield. This is the heart of the North American continent. Eight million square kilometers of Precambrian bedrock. What a marvel. Right. So should I hammer cliff? You have a strong tool to obtain a cliff sample, but now you need a sharp tool to help chip off a cliff sample. I don't have a sharp tool. Oh, I need the ice pick probably. Okay. Huh, where could his ice pick be? Look. You've reached the western limit of property. Hi, Dr. Poxy. Hello. How are you? Oh, should I turn the game up, by the way? I know most of the game is silent, but... Just curious. You've reached the western limit of the property. To the north, you can see the carriage house. The roar of rushing water is to the south. East leads deeper into the woods. 
There's a huge boulder here. Albert is here. Talk to Albert. He's going to be rude to us. Good morning, Mr. Respa. How are you today? I'm very busy, Miss Maple. Miss Maple, I'm very busy, as you can see. The field work must be comprehensively performed. Mm, well, maybe that boulder isn't a good place to start. It looks to be a glacial erratic and... Excuse me, young lady. Are you trying to tell me my business? How amusing. Run along, then. Maybe you can help Jack in the kitchen. Hmm. I'm so good, Dr. Poxy. I'm just drinking some blueberry tea. Bobby's next to me. And we're playing a, um, a wonderful Crimson Diamond game. Hi, Eden. Hello. Yes, he did. Frisky Gatto, I told you he was going to be rude to us. He has no chill. Hi, Eden. How are you? He has no chill. Okay. What if I started... What if I dig over here? I wonder why it tells me that I've already taken a sample from the riverbank. Can I take his tools? <laughs> Albert is a little peeved at me already. I shouldn't antagonize him any further. Maybe if I ask him nicely, he'll let me borrow his tools. Ask about tools. Wow, Mr. Respa, that's some field kit you've got there. May I borrow a pick from you? Certainly not. You would only damage these fine instruments. I won't be getting a pick this way. I'm sure I can find one for myself. Albert, show that boulder some respect. Thank you, Eden. Yeah. I bet they know the Monopoly guy with that monocle. Yeah, for real. They're in the monocle club. Okay, let's see what we got here. Can we look? Look. It appears that the carriage house was once used as a stable. The stall is empty, but there are some old hay bales being stored in the upper level. North leads to a gazebo, east to the lodge, and south eventually leads to the river. Can I climb? Climb ladder. Climb the ladder. Maybe there's something hidden in the, the hay bales. Search. Hey. That doesn't seem to work. Search. Uh, look. Okay. Look at hay. Even the city girls such as yourself can tell that those hay bales are old and dusty. It seems there hasn't been much need for them in a long time. X. Hey. Okay. All right. Okay, climb. Hmm. Can I search the carriage? Maybe someone put the ice pick in there. Some malicious person. Some person with mal intent. Search carriage. Uh, search. Hold on. Thanks for playing. Oh, I love this game. Yeah. You might not find anything in that hay. Maybe you should just stop horsing around and ask yourself, ask your neighbors. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Carry edge. Oh, maybe I spelled it wrong. Search. Carry edge. I'm sure I'm spelling it wrong. Maybe not. Okay. X car? I don't know. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe I'm just wasting time. No, that's the right spelling? Okay. Maybe I just, maybe you can't, maybe you just can't search it. Okay, look. Gazebo. While you're uncertain whether or not this is a gazebo or a bandstand, you know it's definitely not a per pergola. The gazebo has a red roof and is painted bright white. You can imagine it was a site of much entertainment and celebration, but no longer. That's sad. Okay. Maybe open stable. Look. A huge gazebo or maybe a bandstand. Far enough, yada, yada. The lodges to the east and the carriage. Okay. Where's a bird sound? Hi, Monware. How are you? 
Okay, west side of the house. Front section. Okay. Huh. Okay. Let me see. Let me make sure there's nowhere else that I need to look. Look. A roaring waterfall. Mossy rocks by the water that look pretty slippery. Far off to the north, you can just make out the smokehouse that leads to the jetty. Okay. Did we open this? Open door. I'm pretty sure. Should we take some salt? Take salt. Okay. Open salt. Open bag. You open the bag of rock salt. Take. Can I take some salt? Salt. You scoop up a handful of rock salt. Hey, I took some salt. I don't know what that does, but we took it. <laughs> ah. I can see it was only visited by the guests of the past. It's haunted now. Oh, no. Pergola watched way too many home and garden shows during the pandemic to know too much about pergolas and mudrooms and shiplap to last me a lifetime. I have never heard of a pergola. What do you even do in a pergola? Look. An array of smoked meats and fish are hanging to dry to cure. A work table with a deeply scratched work surface is against one wall. You see a big bag of salt, a barrel, and a large pot. Look at pot. A large pot is probably used for some stage of food preparations, but you're not knowledgeable. Look at barrel. This looks like it might be pickle barrel or barrel for salted meats. Open barrel. You certainly can't pry it open with your bare hands. There's no real need for me to open it. Come on, just open the barrel. Maybe there's a secret inside. Um. Okay, take meat. The temptation to take the meat and snack on it constantly is very strong. You overcome it. <laughs> Hi, baby Spock. Can you eat the food? Eat meat. No, it won't let me. Wouldn't it be awesome if she just took that entire giant bag of rock salt? Hey, adventurers, just know to carry some of the endless amount of stuff. Hi, Edward Scissorfoot. Welcome. <laughs> I love your name. Yeah, this game is fantastic. How are you? How's it going? Basically a water more open gazebo with a raised base. Like I said, I know way too much about it. That's funny. Okay, well, I took some salt. Let's take a look at our inventory. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, as expected, the rock salt is composed of irregularly shaped crystals, but are genuinely, generally cubic in shape. They are whitish to colorless. Some of the crystals appear irregularly shaped, but more octahedral than cubic. But salt is fairly brittle and is water soluble, so they can be just about any shape. Right? The words F.A. Allen Monmouth Ill are stamped into the duck call. Huh. Interesting. Closer examination reveals the cutting edge has chunks taken out of it. You're a little surprised at this, but the area is known for garnet mines after all. Okay. You can see some of the specimens have tiny arching scratches and a pitted frosted surface. Some of it's river glass, so I can eliminate those specimens from the sample. River glass and sea glass are bits of glass that have been tumbled with water and stones for years. It can sometimes look like minerals. Oh, snap. I didn't even know I was supposed to do that. What? What else can I look at with the loop? The hempen rope is tight laid and three stranded. There are fine scratches on this plate indicating it's been well used. Your hat looks pretty good considering you got it second hand. You admire the brilliant shine of the squeaky clean drinking glass. After heavily scrutinizing the roll of zinc adhesive plaster, you conclude it doesn't benefit from closer examination. Okay. All right. AG Studios by Chris Jones. Okay, cool. Well, I learned something about my rock samples. Ooh. 
look. The apple orchard looks like it's in the process of being harvested. Ripe red apples hang in the trees and litter the ground beneath them. You see a bushel and a tree stump with an axe buried in it. You can see the garden shed in the distance. West leads back to the house. Okay. It's basically wider, more open without a raised base. Gotcha. I had to look up where Monmouth, Illinois is and realize I've driven past that town before. That's cool. Okay, look at Apple. The little red apples are scattered on the orchard floor and cling to the trees overhead. Take Apple. These look like those very tart apples that hurt my teeth. Good for pies, but not for eating. Come on now. Can I go in here? Anywhere I can go? Look at tree. The apple trees are stout, which you speculate might be due to the short growing season in northern Ontario. Oh, neat. X, X. X, X. Look at X. The X is deeply embedded into the tree stump. Okay, look at tree stump I don't see anything noteworthy okay what's over here look at maybe this is a bucket okay nothing no, noteworthy there okay what's over here oh is there anything here I'm supposed to look at look there's a garden shed here, as well as a well-tended vegetable patch and a water pump. Bird amenities include a bird bath, bird feeder, and bird house. Okay. Those trees started throwing apples at Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that would be a shame. When you look west, you can see the lodge. When you look south, you can see the orchard. North is an impassable wall of dense forest and bush. East is impassable. Okay, east is impassable. North is impassable. Okay, look at bird bath. The white marble bird bath is mounted on a pedestal. X bird bath. Okay, look at bird house. Bird house is mounted on a tree. Okay, look at pump. The blue water pump probably comes in handy for watering the vegetable patch and refilling the bird bath. Use pump? Wait. Uh, how do I use the pump? Uh, pump? Okay. X, pump. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. I don't think there's anything else. Wait, can I take shovel? Take shovel. Okay. No, it's bulky. Okay, fine. Can I, can I use? No. Um, Eden, can I ask you a question about this game? If you know the answer, there's no way for me to check. Like all the mouse cursor can only be walk. It's not like I could change it to, like, use or look, right? Look. Bird bath, bird feeder, bird house. Okay, look at bird feeder. A wooden bird feeder sits on top of a long pole, probably to keep squirrels out. The mouse is fairly limited. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Because it's been a little while, so I couldn't remember if I forgot a mechanic. Hi, Dorian. Welcome. And the word use can be used. Okay, that's a good note. Good note. X bird feeder. Okay, whistle. We'll see what if anything happens if I whistle here. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Chat. I have an idea about something. This could lead to nothing. But I have an idea. I have an idea. I have something I want to do. Hold on. I have another idea. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. 
dust for finger prints axe. Wait, can I do dust axe? Finger prints axe? I guess not. That was my idea. Or it could lead to something. Eat the bird feeder. Delicious seeds. <laughs> I have to re remember stuff too after taking a one week break. Yeah. Yeah. That always happens to me. Okay. Let's see what happens if I whistle again. Will she freak out? I think it's because you didn't ask the correct question. Oh my god. I want to see if I could dust... I want to see if I could dust the bag for fingerprints. Okay. Doesn't seem to work. Why not? Experience beige. Okay. Dust for fingerprints. How do I get the fingerprints? Inventory. You fill the empty powder compact with some soot from the fireplace. Would it be use compact on bag? Use compact on bag? No, we can't use use. Uh, fingerprint on bag? How would I do it? Maybe I can't do it, but I'm just curious how I'm supposed to get everyone's fingerprints. I mean, clearly her bag would have her fingerprints on it. You no tape tape on bag bag look at bag she brought her suitcase with her to the cliff X bag okay let me think how would I use an item I have on something inventory Right? Dust for fingerprints. I was going to say that. Wait. Dust for fingerprints. No. Get DNA on the bag. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Rand Scott. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. Focus. Let's focus here. Um, okay, let's look at my, hold on. Okay. Okay, wait, maybe help. Oh, wait, there's a hint book? Oh, the, oh, a hint book is a external website. Okay, no, I don't want that. Help. Example, look, look at, talk to, search, open, close, open, close, ask about, get, notebook window, inventory window, main menu, cupboard, draw, door, cabinet, Alberta, Nessa, Kimmy, Evan. Hi, Gonzo Cookie. How are you today? It's great to see you as always. How you feeling? Okay. Yeah. And now, back to our show. yeah, she likes it. And Kay was playing some wild Japanese game like this and they got a fair fingerprints on everything. Really? That's funny. I'm doing well. Just enjoy. Oh, yes. Gonzo cookie. I played it on the GOG channel yesterday. Metal Slug Tactics. It's really good. How far are you? I only I only did the first couple of missions. It's really beautiful. The The pixel art is absolutely gorgeous. All but one character already. I haven't been able to put it down. I don't blame you. I like the mechanic of move as far as you can. I think it's interesting, right? 
It's so cool. All right. I don't know where to go. I can't dust the bag for fingerprints. Ride canoe. Can you use her? Uh, you canoe. Look, canoe. There's a canoe. Cattails on the riverbed. You can see a cliff looming. Okay, X canoe. Okay, look, canoe. What? Alex, that boy tipsy. Da wait, wait, what? Hello? Wait, what does this raid message say? Alex thought Moog had a mustache, but it was just teeth. Alex thought, who's Moog? Who's Moog? Moog? Am I saying that right? Hi, Alex. Hi, Grayson. Da boy tipsy. Uh, Delft dad. Think jinx. Big C. W Big C D W. Uh, Kayla Sadai, hello. Uh, Cheet Cheeto, Cheeto, that's a nice name. Hello, Insanity, Insanity Magus. Alex Noramaki, Last Black Spartan, hello. How was Elden Ring? Hi, everyone from my channel. Go and give Alex Noramaki a follow, a very talented cosplayer and broadcaster. And knows lots about branding and broadcasting and is really cool, really talented and super fun to hang out with and loves like Nintendo and other cool games. Please go and give Alex Noramaki a follow. Elden Ring bullied you? Yes, yes. Elden Ring t has a tendency to do that, right? It totally has a tendency to do that. I understand exactly how you feel. What kind of character do you play? I feel like that raid message was an insult to Worf's father. <laughs> I know. Worf, son of Moog. Hello, Brisby. How are you? But yeah, if you've never been here, my name is Ash. I play retro games and Nintendo games. And today we're playing a game that is, it's a modern game, but it was developed to look like a classic DOS game with EGA graphics called... The Crimson Diamond. That's what we're playing today. The Crimson Diamond. Just a girl with a big shield and a bigger halberd. I love that. That's beautiful. That really paints a very, very uh, descriptive picture. I can see you now on the field of battle with your shield. No foe can stand in your way. Yeah, this game is amazing. Um, so in the, the, the title description for my stream, I've tagged... A underscore Maple Mystery. And the person that runs that account, that's their Twitch account, is named Julia Minamata, who created this game. Julia Minamata created this game. So, yeah, that's what we're playing right now. It's very cool. She streams here on Twitch as well. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out, we're in this mansion, and... There is some there's some strange activities afoot. We're trying to figure out there's some foul play. Some people are trying to steal some money. You know, uh you got some some people that are trying to do some shady stuff. So we're trying to figure it out. Look. Love me some old style games. Yeah, this is really good. It just came out like a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. Thank you, famous adventurer. This is the east side of the house. There is a door built into the ground, most likely leading to a cellar. You can see a shed and a veggie patch east of here. South of here is the front section of the lodge. North is the is I'll the dense. Be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome. Open door. You open the door. Okay. Let's look around the house. Maybe we can dust for fingerprints around here somewhere. We also are looking for an ice pick. That seems to have disappeared. Hmm. Okay. 
Any other games to play on my quiet days? I'll pick it up. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's been doing really well on Steam. The reviews are really great. I think you'll enjoy it for sure. If you've never played a text parser, I think this is a good way to start. For sure. Look. The kitchen has a rough-hewn rustic charm. The lack of decoration and fine furnishing implies that this room wasn't meant to be seen by the lodge's guests. There are cupboards along the wall and an icebox in the corner. A door in the west wall leads to the main floor hallway. You can see the dining room through a doorway in the south wall, and there's a door in the east wall that leads outside. You see a puddle under the icebox. A strip of yellow flypaper dangles near the door. Wait, I didn't get to see the last thing. Jack is here. Oh. Stalin is grabbing me and taking me back to when I was six. Yo, for real. So many good things to see here. Okay, let's... Okay, look at puddle. There's a puddle of water beneath the icebox. Oh, dear. Looks like the icebox is melting and leaking out the icebox. Open icebox. Icebox. You open it. There's an ice block that has melted a bit. There's now a puddle on the floor. Oh, dear. I guess the icebox is a bit leaky. Is that relevant? Okay, break. Ice. You bash the ice block a few times with the hammer. That doesn't seem to be doing the trick. I need something pointier. You close it. I didn't expect that to work. Oh, no problem, Alex. Have a good rest of your evening. We need one of those piso mojado. Yeah, we do. The yellow one. Yeah. I didn't expect that to work, chat. Hum. Humdinger. Uh, look at fly paper. A new box of fly paper with drawing of an unsettling large fly in the front. There's a very small label on the side of the cover. The box feels a bit light. The sticky fly paper is loaded with dead flies, frozen in various states of mortal struggle. Ew. Take fly. There's no need for that here. X fly. We have absolutely no desire to take a closer look at that. <laughs> ah, X fly paper. Wait, but the fly paper. Hold on, inventory. The flypaper contains arsenic. Could somebody use that flypaper to poison someone else? <gasps> I did, Kim. Should we talk to him again? Talk, man. Super Hamster has subscribed at tier one for five years. Hello. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 60 months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lick flypaper. Flypaper arsenic. Hi, Azor. This is going to be Maniac Mansion all over again. You know it. You know it. Five years. Thank you, Super Hamster, for five years. I appreciate you so much. That's really awesome of you. Thank you. You look a little bothered. Anything I can help you with? Never you mind, miss. But if you want to busy yourself, I've been missing my ice pick for at least a week. I don't need it right now, but it's just been on my mind, you know? Well, that is clearly an indication that we need to find that ice pick. That's clear to us. You're welcome. Thank you. Lick. Fly. Paper. It doesn't look very appetizing. I can't believe. Hold on a minute. Time out. Time out. The game understands me saying lick, but it doesn't understand me saying use. Can we just pontificate that fact for a little bit? Thank you, 
Ari, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Game needs to sort out our priorities. For real. Can't like the fire paper, but you can jump into the river and drown. That's what I'm saying. What makes you wonder what other things you could try to lick? Spontaneous mix. It's a good point. Lick salt. You lick a bit. <laughs> Why is that in the game? Will we find a Tootsie Roll pop? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll, center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three. 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 Uh, no, I appreciate the lurk. Thank you, Ari. Thank you. Crunch. When were the Tootsie Pops invented? Good question. I don't know. Oh, my God. I can't believe I licked the salt. Mmm, salty. <laughs> is it still in our inventory? <laughs> it is. Oh, my golly, G. Willikers. Can I lick the Jordan almonds? Lick Jordan almond. It doesn't look very appetizing. Can I hammer Jordan almond? Okay. Can I dust Jordan almond? You dust the Jordan almonds for prints. You find... Your own fingerprints. Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Whoa. Okay. What else can I dust? Nancy's the suspect. The mug. Salty. Tootsie Roll Pops were invented in 1931, so they didn't exist yet in this game. 1914 for another 17 years or so. Wow. The world looks mighty good to me. Because Tootsie Rolls are all I see. Whatever it is I think I see becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. Wait, can I dust the tea kettle? Look. In hallway, you can see the dining room, yada yada. Puddle under the box, strip of yellow fly paper. Jack is here. Can I dust? Dust Jack. <laughs> Hardy har har har. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can dust. Dust. Bottle. Okay, no, that didn't work. I'm trying to get fingerprints here. See if there's any other fingerprints I can get. She walks fast. She does walk fast. Use a coffee to melt the thing. I think I need the um dust mug. I think I need the ice pick. I think I need the ice pick. Because he kept alluding to the ice pick. And it said that I needed something sharp to break off the ice. Yeah. That went back to my youth. Where posture is immaculate. Nobody remembers Ubu. Wait, what's Ubu? Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. No, I don't, I don't know what that is. What's that? I definitely remember Ubu. I love pizza, but I hate waiting for it to cook. I wish my oven was at a was a giant air fryer. Yeah. What's Ubu? Wait, can I dust the bath? Dust bath. Okay, no, that didn't, that didn't work. Can I? Talk. Talk, woman. I'm afraid I'm not feeling better. 
I don't think I'll be coming down for dinner. Sorry to hear that, Margot. Mm. Look. A boudoir transports you to Fin de Cicille, Paris. It's shiny, opulent, perhaps slightly tacky and very, very pink. A mirrored vanity is a focal point of the room. Exotic perfumes hover in the intensely localized clouds that you can almost see. Every movement stirs air currents that bring new scents to your nose. A doorway to the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dust vanity. Okay. Dust perfume. Ubu was a production company. It was a clip of a black dog that would play after some shows. Hi, Willow Lily. Welcome in. So nice to meet you. So what's the goal? I heard one guy say sometimes he puts on in there when he doesn't even want one. Time's finished. Who knows? Ask Margot about the pic. She's sketchy. Oh, yeah. Everyone loves Raymond had it. So, Monware, the goal in this game... So, there's a mystery going on. Clearly. Hold on. Let me show you my notebook. So, we... Okay, we heard about a diamond. And we were sent here to investigate. We are um, like a mineral specialist, I guess. Or we, we know a lot about earth sciences. And... um. There's something funny going on here in this house. Like, I feel like there's some kind of fraud happening or uh, there's some something fishy's going on with like some uh, uh, a will and the sister hates the brother. And there's some there's something weird going on here. Does anybody else want to? summarize the story because I can't remember all aspects of the story. Welcome back, Shine Spark. How are you? But we're basically trying to solve a problem. Dead Cousin Ted. No, no, no. That's Maniac Mansion. That's Maniac Mansion. But yeah. Hi, Drewzy. I'm well. How are you? Not get boy tad. Get boy tad. I just want to activate the legendary PS1 startup in your chat. The PS1 startup? We shine spark. I don't remember. The PS1 startup? Really good. Thank you. I'm glad. The object of the game is to find the long lost red staple remover and discover its use. Oh my god. What is going on in my chat? Wait, wait, what did that say? Open the curio cabinet, then search a drawer to take the bro. Oh, we did that already. Nessa can't find a will. Nessa's dealing with Margot. Eavesdrops on the boudoir. Chur, which contains a map, type map to view the lodge layout, an item, powdery soot. Reveal fingerprints. Ask people for fingerprints. Revealing prints on surfaces by applying powder and lift them with the paper. Mm-hmm. You moved a bunch of redemptions. Uh oh no, that was just because of the show. I forgot to put them back. That was for the show I did on Sunday. I forgot to put them back. I just don't know how it works. Wait. Wait, I don't recall having a PS1 startup in my chat. That's what I'm confused about. I only do plot summaries for my Wall Street kid. You don't? Yeah. That's what I'm confused about, Shine Spark. Um Are you sure it's this channel? I'm surprised that you got the reference. I love I love that movie. Frisky Gatto. I love that movie. Maybe it was a bit. I don't know. The PS1 startup sound? I don't know if I have that in my channel, but I, I should add it. That's a good point. I should add it. Hi, Paladin. I know, I know, um, Simcopter has it for sure. 
I think it's a whenever someone subscribes to him. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Azor, for the 30 bits. No, Office Space with the Red Stapler is a Monkey Island reference. Oh! Was it the first Monkey Island? The Stapler Remover is for but random? Got you, got you. No, you're good, Shine Spark. Yeah, the first one. I think I remember that. Was it was it in the water? The staple remover? Wait, hold on. Uh yeah, I forgot to put the channel points back on. I take them off whenever I do those interview shows. Yeah, you and Squadron. Yeah. Keep ground assault casualties to a minimum. It is necessary to crush this base. So, I'm going to be redoing all my alerts. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but... John B! What's up? Hello. How are you? Hello, Shattered Rift. Hi, dorky one. Hi, Courtney. Hi, John. Hello. What's up? How are you? Welcome in. How was your broadcast today? What did you do? Thank you so much. Hi, uh, Kikyo. Hello. I'm doing great. Thank you. If you've never been here, my name is Ash. I play retro games and Nintendo games. And today we're playing a game called The Crimson Diamond. It's really awesome. It's made by Julia Minamata, who streams here on Twitch, and she made the game. And it's really freaking awesome. It's really awesome. Just fooled around and played some Fortnite. Yeah, it's wonderful to see you as well. Everyone, please make sure to go and give John B. a follow. John is really cool, has a lot of great discussions, and is really nice and awesome. I think you'd love hanging out there. And thank you for coming to hang out with us today. Thank you so much. We're just, we're content. Oh, wait a minute. This menu was up here the whole time. Oh, cool. I didn't know I could do that. Inventory. Whoa. Okay. But yeah, welcome, welcome. So we're trying to figure out this mystery here. I want to see if maybe there's something I can get fingerprints on. Maybe there's stuff I can dust fingerprints for in here. Hold on. Oh, maybe I can dust for fingerprints on the bag. Dust bag. Wait, powder bag. I can't do that. Okay, look. Judging from the crate, Jack didn't get much yada yada. There's a large dresser. There's a pitcher and a drinking glass on top. You see a low coffee table, a writing desk, and a bookcase, plush armchair, and a pair of beds. Okay. I don't think there's anything useful in this room. Okay. Look. Bag. Small suitcase. There are two identical large chests at the foot of the bed. Open chest. The luggage is locked. Dust chest. Okay, wait, what about... Look. Okay. Oh, it consists of wardrobe, desk, and nightstand. Picture and a drinking glass on the nightstand. Door. Yeah. Open trunk. Luggage is locked. Dust trunk. Okay. Won't let me dust anything. Look. Desk. Small functioning drawers. Albert has put a couple of geology and mineral books on the desk. Look. Book. Geology and mineral book looks as good as new. Dust book. 
can't think of a good. Well, how am I supposed to get anyone's fingerprints? Maple mystery. Oh my, lick the chest. We were wondering. Why can I lick things in here? How can I? I can lick things in this game. Chat, please go and give a Maple Mystery a follow. A Maple Mystery is the wonderful Julia Minamata who made this game. Please give them a follow right now. And thank you so much to Shine Spark for the tier one sub for 10 months. Thank you. Lick the things. Hi, Maru. Hello, old school Jay. Hi, Goemon. Hello, lick dust. No, 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 no. Hi, Saka. Hello, welcome. Um, Yes, thank you so much. Please give a Maple Mystery a follow. And thank you for coming to hang out with us. If you've never been here, my name is Ash. I play retro games and Nintendo games. And we're playing, this is still my first playthrough of a Maple Mystery. Frisky Gatto, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to a Maple Mystery. Hi, Tifa. Hello. They want you to taste the game. Licking is important so Nancy can enjoy Jack's tasty dinners. That's true. Oh, of course. We're having a good time. So let me show you where we are right now. Let me show you my inventory. We just found the salt, right? If you can lick enough things. We licked the salt, by the way. We found this duck uh, collar and we used it. And then we found some footprints. Um, why would you lick the salt? Why not? What else can we lick? I had to try it. We also figured out the river samples that I had to look at those with the loop. We found a hammer. We found the shovel. I found a bunch of stuff. I tried to lick these Jordan almonds. It didn't work. Um, Tune Tris. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Lick all the things. Exactly. Just a Jeffy. Thank you so much for the raid, Tuntress. How was your broadcast? What did you do? Chat. I did a very fun. Hi, Tawi. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Wisco. Right. You got to lick the salt because you want to make sure it's salt and not sugar. True. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, please go and give Toontress a follow. I recently did a Mario Party to uh, tournament with Toontress. Toontress is awesome and very entertaining. Please go and give Toontress a follow. You played Astro Bot and Mario Party? I'm really loving the new Mario Party Jamboree. It's excellent. I love the Coupathalon too. That was really fun. And thanks for letting me be a part of that awesome event. Yo, no problem, old school Jay. I totally understand. I totally understand. Have some zillion. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah, please go and give to um Tuntress a follow. Please go and give a Maple Mystery a follow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 16 bits. I'm glad you have fun. Yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, always having a good time playing games with Lana Roos and yourself and everybody else. That was really good. Yeah, the Zillion anime is really good, Azor. I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. That's from Zillion. One of my favorite video games on the Sega Master System, but it also had an anime. Shine Spark is really good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. We're... Um, we're playing a cool point-and-click adventure game, Toontress, made by an incredible broadcaster who actually just raided us right before you, named A Maple Mystery. Um, Julia Minamata uh, made this game. And this is really wonderful point uh, text parser adventure game. It's a mystery. We're trying to solve the mystery. And um, it's been really fun so far. Yeah. The shading in the room is so pretty. All of the artwork is so good. Goat Tongue, welcome. How are you? Hi, Bit Wizard. How are you doing? Bit, it was so fun watching you do Chocobo races last night or this morning. Yeah, the art is really cool. This game came out a couple of months ago and it has really great reviews on Steam. Please check it out. 
We believe she's carrying a cup of water and all this crap around in her purse. Yeah. A whole cup of water. A whole full cup of water. Yeah. Yeah, it was very chill. That was really fun. Really, really fun. Chat. We were talking in BitWizard's chat yesterday. We were talking whether or not cake is better than pie or if you like pie better. That's what we were talking about. And I got to say, bit. I'm a cake person. Here we go. Pie is much better, says Gonzo Cookie. <gasps> I gotta say, I am a cake enjoyer. Let let wait. Let me explain. Wait. Let hold on. Wait. Listen. Hold on. Listen. 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 Depends on the cake or the pie. What about cheesecake? Depends on the cake. That's okay. No one is perfect. <laughs> Maru says depends on the cake Nobody ever got beheaded for suggesting that people eat pie Now that's true WTF that's true You can enjoy your cake on an island with all the other weird cake people Wait bit let me tell you Let me tell you hold on Listen listen just listen real quick Okay cake is my go to Some cakes are amazing but you can do a ton of variety in pie Right that's true I have had bad experiences with pie, and I think that's what ruined me. I've had cold pie that fell apart and was just messy, didn't have like the, or like sometimes, you know, when you get the pie crust and it's just like doughy, it's not like cooked all the way, it doesn't have that, it's not substantial, and it just falls apart and breaks apart, that ruined me. You know, I love when pie crust, yeah, pie crust has got to be chewy. It's got to be, now, I will say if pie is warm with like some vanilla ice cream, all right, now we're cooking. Have you eaten some terrible cake before too? Yes, I have, but I've had less terrible cake than I have had terrible pies. Or sometimes when you get a pie and then it's like, the texture is, I'm a texture eater, you know? So warm apple pie with French vanilla ice cream is God tier, right? Filling is too liquidy. Yeah, and it soaks into the crust. Yes. It feels like you're just eating air most of the time, except for banana cream pie. Oh, yeah. Now, what do we think of like pudding pies, though? Like a chocolate? Now, wait. Also, here's one pie that will always get a pass. Sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie. Those pies are always good. I don't think I've ever had a bad version of that. Ice cream cake is the best. Vanilla ice cream, baby. French silk pie, I've never heard of that. I'm from England, pies life in the sweet and savory form. Now, meat pies. Okay, that's a whole different level. Especially with a flaky crust. You cannot... That you cannot like say like, oh, that's not good. Those are always good. What is French silk pie? I need to Google this now. Does anyone make sweet potato ice cream? I made chocolate peanut butter pie. Yeah, that's very rich. Yeah. Quiche. Is quiche a pie? Bit wizard is quiche a pie? I would say yes. I would say yes. Is cheesecake a cake or a pie? I think cheesecake is more like a pie. Only cake I can think of is like carrot cake. Yeah, a couple of raisins and pineapples that mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a soft brownie. Hi, Bad Arcane. Hello. It has the crust, so yeah, I think so. Yeah, it has the crust, so I think it's a pie. Cheesecake is a pie. Key lime pie. Key lime is delicious. French silk pie is generally a chocolate pie with whipped topping, maybe some shaved chocolate. Oh, yeah. That sounds real good. There's a... Wait, cake or pie? Hold on. Who made this poll? Who made this poll? Cake, the correct answer. Pie, the heathen's answer. <laughs> oh, that's a good poll. That's a good poll. Wow. 
We have 47 votes for cake and 28 votes for pie. I mean, that's a big indicator. Chocolate cake. Hi, Ty White. I chose the heathen answer. Listen, listen, listen. So I think that's what kind of messed me up on pie. The phrase as American as apple pie is funny since we had it in England before America was a thing. <gasps> Hi, Ty White. They don't call a pie chart a cake chart. There's no cake day. Hmm. Wait a minute. You got a point there. Now, I will say, I return. welcome Rex. Do you like pie or cake or both? Now, let me ask y'all a question. First of all, okay, cake with like a um, cheesecake frosting. Che cheesecake? No, no, no. Cake with like a cream cheese frosting. That's my favorite. Meat pies are the best. Hi, Mike. Good to see welcome what's up uh, how you feeling no more cake day we did it read it sweet potato pie is the bomb.com liege now how about tomato pie sometimes no now wait a minute what about a pizza pie cake the correct answer got 131 votes brisby wow wow cake is awesome but if you put sweet potato pie in front of me i will betray cake immediately Hi, Mike. Hi, Liege. National Cake Day is November 26. Now, listen. Listen, listen. Deep dish pizza is God tier. A pizza pie. That's how we say it in New York. Cake and pie, I want both in my face. Exactly. I'm with y'all. Ads are going to start soon, chat. So let's just, let's just sit right here for a second. Mike, how's the development on your game going? I can hear Goaty screaming in his sleep. Wait a minute. Which one does Goaty like? Cake or pie? I'm going to message Goaty right now. Wait, we have to know. Goaty underscore. Oh, he's probably asleep. What about ice cream cake? For me, I prefer regular cake. I am not a fan of ice cream cake. Here's why, though. Not that I don't think it's good. It's because where I worked previously... Every single time someone had a birthday, they would only get ice cream cake. And I had it too much and it ruined it for me. They would just have, like, every time. I'm like, can we get something different? Olds are wild. Yo, I am a tiramisu, tiramisu fan. I'm a tiramisu enjoyer. You know what's also really good? Baklava. I'm a baklava enjoyer. Hi, Sarek. It's nice to see you. Welcome. Yeah, I can't wait to see your game. Tawi, so what's your favorite? I may have missed the answer while I got pudding. Tawi is a pudding enjoyer. Tiramisu is very delicious. Butterscotch, tiramisu, butterscotch pudding. Yes, with baklava. With or without the pistachio. I love a pistachio. I love pistachios. Ice cream mochi, I agree. Ice cream mochi is fantastic. Now, I did when I went to Japan, I would get pastries every morning when I woke up there from a little local bakery by where I was staying. I was staying, where was I staying? It was a really nice place. I had to take the JR line. Um It was really nice. Perfect. Bit, thank you for gifting that tier once up to Tawi. I love apple tea cake. My wife thinks that's boring. Apple tea cake? That sounds great. What is that? Pudding or jello? I like pudding over jello. When you have a moment, look up the hot dog recipe from the 60s and 70s. Have you ever had the shut the gate or Watergate salad? No, I never had that. Rand Scott? Wait, I gotta start looking these things up. Hot dog recipe yo bit thank you for gifting a tier one sub to tawi azor thank you for gifting a tier one sub to ice cream cake what wait this hot dog look good though tea cakes are pretty basic as far as cake goes apple tea cake this looks fantastic Banana pudding cake. Oh, my God. 
There's this place in New York called Magnolia that makes banana pudding, and it's fantastic. I'm reordering chicken salt. Oh, my God. I have chicken salt. I have chicken salt. I have chicken salt goat tongue. I have it in my in my pantry. Japanese cheesecake? No. I have deep fried cheesecake. looking it up oh that looks fantastic it looks very airy it looks soft i've had it out here in la they're everywhere now japanese tea cheesecake is lovely it looks fantastic sweet potato pie or tiramisu i think i would go with sweet potato pie hi tumor boy welcome how are you feeling today we're talking about cakes and pies now uh what about beef patties y'all Anybody like beef, any beef patty enjoyers in chat? Wait, what was I going to look up? Oh my God, yes. Yeah, I'm a fan of cakes and pies. Cake and pie, yeah. Hi, Andrew. Nerd Dad, hello. It's great to see you. Welcome. Cake and pie. So, Nerd Dad, last night in BitWizard's chat, we were talking about, are you a cake fan or a pie enjoyer? And BitWizard made me choose, and I felt scared because I'm a cake enjoyer. <laughs> what a great pivot. I would have been into HelloFresh sponsorship. A resole? Resol no, let's look this up right now. Resole. Resole recipe. Oh, it's like... It looks like a um meatball kind of. That looks like a meat like a meat patty, a meatball. Yeah, what kind of cake? Cuz that's important as well. Hunter Taney, you did go into a cake versus pie. Thank you for the tier once up for 14 months. Hunter Taney said is team pie. pie All I heard was cake. All I heard is I was in BitWizard's chat and I was scared because we were discussing food. <laughs> <laughs> A local Jamaican place here does veggie patties. I love the veggie patty. Okay, wait. I love the veggie patty. They're a bit like meatballs. You throw them on the barbecue. Oh. What? Frankly delicious. A little bit of carol puts a little bit of you into every dish you cook. A wiener rolly casserole. Huh? Huh? Hey. I don't know how I feel about this here. It's quite the specimen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, vintage cookbooks are amazing for that reason. Yeah, oxtail and rice. Yeah, let's go. Um, If y'all ever go to a Jamaican restaurant, get some black cake. Black cake is delicious. Yeah, looks like heartburn. I'll be sleeping at the desk after that. That looks very suspicious, chat. That's some Duke Donuts level neural network food garble right there. I agree, Goat Tongue. Women's Weekly Book with all the cake designs is so good. Oh my gosh. Yes. Vintage cookbooks are amazing. Yeah. Sammy Two Cats has subscribed to Tier 1 for 20 months. Thank you so much, Sammy. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. May you walk on warm sands. Thanks for starting a hype train. Thank you so much. Your local Jamaican place doesn't have black cake, but I love the corn festival. Cocoa bread. Yeah. Cocoa bread and beef patty. That's life right there. That's a comfort food for me. I like the mild beef patty, but sometimes I get the spicy one. But you can't skip the cocoa bread. And it must be warm. You must. You must. May you walk out. Rum cake. Yeah. Rum cake is very good. Very, very good. Scone bone. Thank you for the tier one sub. Hi, scone. How you doing? What? Thank you. Scone, cake or pie or scones? <laughs> wow. How are you? Crackled used to have a video series where they made random recipes from sixty magazines, and they mostly use Jello and or mayo. 
I vote for cake. You voted for cake. Cola champagne. Oh, yes. Cola champagne. Um, SNES drunk. Hello. Welcome. KFC had cake. I think KFCs have cake. Yeah. Yeah. The chocolate cake at KFC. Yeah, I remember that, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Cola champagne is good. Ginger beer, soursop, juice, peanut, peanut uh, punch. Yo, peanut punch. You never had a peanut punch? You got to have one of those. Or uh, Irish moss. That's good stuff right there. I should do a cooking stream and show y'all all the Caribbean stuff I grew up with. Chocolate cake at KFC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever had a chocolate cake shake? No, that sounds good, though. Yeah. That sounds good. Oreo chocolate cheesecake? That sounds amazing. Does KFC not have chicken salt on their chips? Nah, chicken salt is not a thing over here, Mike. That's why when you told me about it, I was like, I must have it because that's fantastic and it's really good. I just thank you so much, Dorian, for the 300 bits. Actually, I had put chicken salt on some something I made the other day. What did I make? I made something the other day and I was like, nah, I'm putting some chicken salt on this. I should make some I should make some fries and put put chicken salt on it. But no, that's not a thing over here. I wish it was cuz it's delicious. You mastered a few Caribbean pastries lately? Like what, Rand Scott? If you ever want a dessert at KFC, get the one that's also the A&W, the proper root beer float. It's been like 10 minutes since I wake up already craving dessert, dinner dessert, Cyric. I'm sorry. It's not my fault, a little bit my fault. Yeah, I got to try I got to try putting the chicken salt on my chips. I got to try that. I should do a Fallout cooking stream soon. I want to do a cooking stream from my Diablo cookbook. I'm just missing one piece of the the recipe. I'm missing um something that I need to season the chicken wings with and then we'll do it. You know what's my favorite? The apple pie at Popeyes. That's real good too. Brimstone is there a Caribbean equivalent of mana, mana, what is that? Mana, manapua? Siopau? I don't know what that is, Nerdad. Could you describe me the food and I'll tell you if it, if we have an equivalent? Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome. Steam buns with meat? Yeah. Um, I mean, we have, like, if you go to the bakery, you could get, like, meat pies and stuff. Not really a bun, per se. But you got beef patties, you know, bun and cheese. Oh, yeah, bun and cheese is mad good, yo. Bun and cheese, because the bun is a little sweet and the cheese is like a little salty. It's real good. Yeah, Romulan Ale from my Star Trek cookbook. That sounds good. Yeah. I had some French vanilla cake, This the big bag combo. Making, wait, wait, wait. I just had some French vanilla cake. This big back combo making me want another piece. Just get another piece, yo. You know, my grandmother, she makes a really good banana pudding. No, bread pudding. Sorry, my brain is not working today. Bread pudding. Bread pudding is real good, too. That's something that, like, I'm sure you could get it anywhere. Like, there's lots of countries that have it. But the West Indian version is, like, mad good, yo. It's real good. You got to put, like, vanilla extract in there and stuff. Yeah. Some bread pudding. Mmm. Probably a patty, but I think the manu pot is more of a soft bun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for that, uh, that, uh, level one hype train. Coconut rum cake? Hell yeah. Let's go. Banana pudding is if put, if put those Goya, like, Nilla wafers? Yeah. Yeah. Carrot cake? Bread pudding with the whiskey sauce. Hi, Ed. Rice pudding. I'm telling you. Rice pudding is real good. Brazo, Gitano, and black cake and Christmas cake. Yeah, black cake. That's definitely something we give for Christmas. But is there... I, 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 black cake, Christmas cake. All from scratch. Keeps me healthy. Yo, Cuban rice pudding is definitely top tier. I love bread pudding. I do sweet bread pudding and savory ones. Cheese pudding. Oh, that sounds good. Should really trade. I think everyone here should trade recipes. I agree. Hi, Haseo. This is the Crimson Diamond. We started talking about food. Wait, this is the Crimson Diamond. 
Fish and egg crackers. Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh man, chat. <laughs> Next time I go to New York, I'm gonna take some pictures of when I get like uh roti or um if I get any oxtail or if I get any stew chicken. If I get any stew chicken, yeah, with the rice and beans, the rice and peas, and the um and the salad and the plantain. Tag, yo. What about Malta? Yo, any Malta enjoyers out there? Is there any Malta enjoyers in chat? Hi, Arnite. Hello. Tiger Malt, Goya Malt, India Malta. Yeah, that's a that's a drink I haven't had in a long time. You don't like Malta like that? Yo, I I when I was growing up did not like Malta. And then when I got to adulthood, for some reason, I was like, yo, this is the bomb. To break diets. I don't think I ever had it. I've never been to the island, but I guess it's OK. Wow. Goya Malta. Yeah. You only get it once in a blue. Sent you an invite to chat. Did you get it? No. I didn't. I didn't get it. Rex, this game is so good. I love it. I love it so much. I've been wondering what part of the islands you, you're from. No, my family's from St. Vincent. My family's from St. Vincent. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah. This game is awesome. A Maple Mystery rated us today, too. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's where my family's from. Ash had on already. I always keep this on my desk. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the Pink Panther, the gem, not the cartoon character. So there was a diamond. Wait, okay. Chat. Since we have a lot of wonderful people here that have played this game, I haven't played it in a couple of weeks. Can we get a synopsis in chat? A brief synopsis of what we're doing in the game for those who don't know. This desk is like a bag of holding. It's true. I feel it was Jamaica Jason. My family's from Jamaica. Nice. Yeah. Licking, we lick everything. Lick salt. You lick a bit of the salt. <laughs> I mean, I do have family. I have family from Barbados, from St. Lucia, from I've been to Barbados. Um, most of my family's from St. Vincent and other islands as well. Trinidad. Yeah. Point and click. Briefest synopsis. Point and click. My synopsis is Ash playing Maniac Mansion years ago and she found this game and licked salt. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm looking for fingerprints. I don't know if I should be looking for that, but that's what I've been doing. Like everything legit old timey geology technique for identifying. Mat Wait a minute. Do geologists really lick rocks? Your family's from Arizona, California, Florida, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. That's cool. There's a rumor in this area diamonds are found and we said to investigate from the university. Only the silly ones. Any of my, yeah, people make jerk chicken, kalaloo, um, askovich fish, uh, boiling, dumplings, rice, fritters, um, like banana fritters, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Beep, beep. There's a spare room brightly decorated and inviting. There's a love seat, a fancy lamp, and some decorative plates. A door in the west leads to the... Uh, okay. Can we dust plate? Can we dust... Okay. Can we look chair? Uh, Look wall? Look plate? Your streak plate has mo most hardness of 6.5. I can rub samples on this plate to help me identify specimens. Truly outrageous. <laughs> Rice, chicken cacciatore, giving them fritters. I can make that. We could do a, a cooking stream where I show y'all how to make that. 
the banana fritters. Okay, chat. I don't know. I'm stuck. Chat, I need a hint, but a little hint. I need a little teeny tiny hint. Dust cup. Kimmy's mug. I want jerk chicken. Chinese Jamaican dish called Jam Choy. Oh, yes. I love the Jamaican Chinese fusion restaurants. What? Ash can cook? Hell yeah. Nice, Ed. Licking rocks, can, licking rocks can be a symptom of pica disease caused by nutritional defic deficiency. I think I've heard of that. Curry chicken. Curry chicken, yup. Curry goat, curry chicken. Yup. You love sushi? Me too. Okay, wait. Okay, talk, man. This is a lovely lodge, Mr. Richards, especially this room. My pa did all of this. Had nothing to do with me. Glad you like it, though. Thanks, Haseo. Please do a cooking stream. I got you. We'll definitely do it. I have the microphone setups and everything for it now. Oh, oh, here's another thing, chat. We need to find an ice pick. Look, can we look at the rug? The plush carpet has exo exotic curvaceous pattern. Mo can you uh, look under rug? You don't need the carpet or anything underneath the carpet. Cook it and cook in baking stream. Yeah, Chinese Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of um there's a lot of restaurants like that in New York that I used to go to. Please do a cooking stream EU friendly time. If I did a cooking stream, it would definitely be in the morning. It would be probably like noon my time if I did a cooking stream. Ice pick. Yes, this game was a very nice pick. Thank you, Azor. Is the recipe I know contains chicken strips and Campbell cream of something than veggies like peas and corns and carrots? That sounds amazing. Ash will find I need a chef hat. That would be great. Ash cooking stream. You know, I do I do have the artwork for it too. Did I ever show you all this? Hold on. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think it's on my laptop. Wait, hold on. Let me show you. I did make I did make a um an overlay for it. Did I put it on here? I think it's only on my laptop chat. Oh no, here it is. I made a logo. See? Ash said yum. Oh, Rance got the link. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. The link. Oh, that that sandwich look good though. Yeah. That looks good. I was close. Got to send mods the link. Yeah. Again, with the hot dogs. Yeah. Ash said, yum. What do y'all think? I drew this myself. I drew it in Illustrator. I think that would make a very cute t-shirt, by the way. Hint. Kitchen. There you go. It would. I'd eat it. <laughs> Maybe there's an ice pick near the bar. Oh, that's a good that's a good idea to look. Hmm. Let's go to the bar. The kitchen? The kitchen. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now, wait. There's the ice box here. Okay, wait. Look under rug. Okay. Can I speak to the ma can I speak to the manager? Okay. Um there's the fly trap here that I know we can interact with. There's this that I know we can interact with. We already spoke to him. He said he's missing his ice pick. We need to find it. Oh yeah, chat. Chat, there's a new emote. Ash said what? Ash said what? There's a new emote for you emote enjoyers out there. Ash said what? I love it. 
First part in here. For the emote enthusiast. Exactly. I don't know. I'm not seeing the um request to chat. Um, let's, Star-Lord, let's, um, figure it out after the stream, okay? Maybe we could do it for next time. Is that okay? Lonely. Let's see if we could figure it out for next time, Star-Lord. I gotta see what's going on, because I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I love this. Ash said what? <laughs> ah, I'm glad you like it. You know where that came from? That came from the uh, Oblivion video I did. Have you all said that, seen it? The Oblivion video I did? Hold on. Let me show you all. Hold on. Where's my shorts? Nope, nope. Hold on. Oblivion video was gold. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Okay, I want to show you. Hold on. Good luck. Good luck. You must be the hero of Kavaj. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the hero of Kavaj. It's for my oblivion enjoyers out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally, after I was done making that video, I laughed for like five minutes straight. I laughed for like five minutes straight. I, I don't know. It, as, soon as, as soon as I was done filming it, I looked at the video and I could not stop laughing. Thank you, Shine Spark. Can you replay it? Yeah, I had a phone call. You want to see it again? Hi, Pixel Chunk. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll replay. Hi, Pixel Chunk. How are you? Welcome. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on, I got you. Play? Hello? Oh, there we go. You must be the hero of Kavaj. <laughs> you must be the hero of Kavaj. I want to do more like that, but I got to come up with a good idea. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be doing stuff willy-nilly. You got to have a good idea, you know? And that one just made sense. That one just made sense. The loose focus of the NPC era... Yeah, the Skyrim Shuffle. The Skyrim Shuffle. Yes, I love the Skyrim Shuffle. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, my God. This game is amazing, Star-Lord. It's really good. It's so good. I'm sorry for anybody who came to watch a gameplay. <laughs> I've been going on so many tangents. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, okay. Um, Look. Okay. The lodge's guest. Okay. You can see the dining room. Puddle under the icebox. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Dust. Fly. Paper. Okay. Much appreciate. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Dust cabinet maybe uh look at sink whoops look sink sink is made of metal and has a plug hole okay uh look t uh look at kettle there's a blue gran granite ware kettle boiling water on the stove top uh dust Kettle. The rough wooden handle of the kettle wouldn't be an ideal place to dust for fingerprints. Okay, dust counter. Okay, dust table. Mm. 
Lick kettle. Lick kettle. That doesn't look very appetizing. Okay. Um. A puddle is fishy. We looked at the puddle. So here's what happened when we looked at the puddle. Clean puddle. It's Jack's job. So we looked at the puddle and we looked inside the ice box. The ice is melting. And I tried to break off the ice, but we need the ice pick. And he said, he said he's missing his ice pick. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <clears throat> Lick kettle. Do you know what's good? Chocolate covered coffee beans. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's talk about that, Azor. Are you supposed to eat those like that? Because they're really crunchy. Pour water on the ice. You think so? Okay, wait. Open ice box. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pour Pour water on ice. You don't have any hot water. What? Are you serious? Sorry for shouting. So I guess I have to use the kettle on the ice. I can't believe it. I thought we had to use the ice pick. I thought we had to use the ice pick, chat. Okay, I think it's Bobby ASMR time. Lick Bobby? No, no, no. Bobby licks herself. She licks herself. She don't need me to lick her. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> okay. As you know, it would be funny, you know, Jurassic Park memes of the kitty and the T-Rex. Imagine doing that with Bobby and Pern. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi, Melanin Beard. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Okay, wait. Hold on. Use kettle. No. I can't say use. So how would I say it? Kettle on ice. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, drink water. Drink the water from the blue mug. That was refreshing. Okay, pour hot water in mug. You fill the blue mug with water from the kettle. You close the ice box. Ice is expensive and surely hard to come by in these parts. Okay, open ice box. Okay, pour water on ice. You don't have any hot water to pour on the ice. I just poured the ice. I just poured the hot water into my cup. What are you talking about? Hi, Melanin Beard. How are you? How was your day? Um, the ice pick makes sense. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. Pour hot water on ice. Pour kettle on ice. Kettle, kettle, Ash, learn how to spell on ice. So I can't do that. Chad, I think I need the ice pick. 
You can't say use. Um, kettle. Ah! Am I thinking too hard? What is wrong with my brain? Why is it not working? Bobby, what do I do? Okay. Move. Can I say move ice? Take ice? You bash the ice block a few times with the hammer. Huh, that doesn't seem to be doing the trick. I need something pointier. You close it. Carry ice box to stove. Carry ice box to stove. A core to stove a core. Can't carry. So I need. I think I need the ice pick. Lick. I hold on. Open ice box. Lick ice. That doesn't look very appetizing. Dang. Ice pick is pointier. Hi, Super Dan. I'm really enjoying this. You need the ice pick? Yeah, I feel like I need the ice pick too. Because he makes mention of the ice pick. He wouldn't tell us to get the ice pick if we didn't need the ice pick. You know what I'm saying, chat? Okay, look. The dining room is impressive sight. Massive Persian rug covers the floor, on top of which stands an elegant dining table and matching chairs. There's a buffet and a display cabinet set against the north wall, and a pair of elaborate oriental jardiniers are in o opposing corners. What's a jardinier? You're, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Maybe you need the ice pick? I think I need the ice pick. What's left of the door in that room? Verge, hold on, I got you. Wait, I'm, we're going to take a look. The plants. Lick jardiniers. It's a good idea. A door west leads to the main floor hallway. You can see the kitchen through a doorway in the north hall and the bar through the doorway in the south. The candles have burned down a bit. There are, is wax dripping on the table and the candlesticks. So in this door over here leads to the hallway. That leads to the hallway. Um. Okay. Uh, look under table. It's really dark under there. It's not that interesting. Otherwise, take candle. Your mother always told you not to put lit candles in your pocket. <laughs> ah, the yellow thing on the wall. The yellow thing on the wall. Oh, that's the fly paper. So we found out that the fly paper has arsenic in it. Look at fly. Look at fly paper. So look. The sticky fly paper is loaded with dead flies frozen in various states of mortal struggle. Ew. And we found out by looking at our inventory that when we looked at the fly paper with the loop, it says that it contains arsenic. So I'm wondering if somebody was going to be poisoned by this flypaper. Thought it might have been a pointy walking stick or something. Don't like the flypaper. Those white icons are shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, we can't take the candle. Yeah, I think there's some foul play afoot. Let's go back to the bar. Okay, look. There's a cozy bar decorated in warm hues of crimson and coral. A trio of stools are stationed in the front of an elaborately curved bar. There's an oversized armchair and a stripped, striped love seat. A door in the west leads to the main floor hallway. You can see the dining room through a doorway in the north. Look at chair. There's an oversized armchair, three bar stools, and a stri striped love seat. Look at love seat. Striped love seat looks very cozy. Uh, look under love seat. You don't see anything noteworthy. Look under chair. You don't see anything noteworthy. Suppose bar is most likely when we keep an ice pick. Look bar. Cozy bar, a tray of stools. There's oversized armchair. Uh, 
Okay. Whoops. Okay. Look at bottle. A multitude of bottles sit on the back counter of the bar containing various liqueurs. Drink. Bottle. Of course, I. Oh, wait. Drink. Liqueur. You don't know any cocktail recipes. These are all liqueurs, not meant to be imbibed straight. Mix liqueur? Oh, can't mix in this game. Maybe someone use the ice pick. Inspect the count. Inspect in X counter. Okay. X loves seat. Okay. It doesn't always apply. Logic doesn't always apply. If we need something like ice pick, not necessarily an ice pick. Yeah, but he calls out that his ice pick is missing. So that's why I feel like it's important to find the ice pick. Look, painting. And lithograph poster advertising absinthe hangs in the corner. Move painting? Doesn't seem to work. Look under rug. Okay. I don't know, chat. Take mop. It's not your job. What? Okay. Open cupboard. Oh, what? Open cupboard. You open the cupboard. Look in cupboard. It's nothing in the cupboard. What? Okay. Okay, fine. There's another room over here. Huh. Um, I'm stuck. Those tools can be ice picks. Which tools? I'm so lost. Oh, look, and then here's another thing, chat. Wait, before I go back into the previous room, why is the wallpaper falling here? I can't do anything to this wallpaper here, but this is very suspicious. It's very suspicious. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, won't let me take the tools. Take tools. You've never been very handy with tools except the geologist pick, of course. Fortunately, you don't see one here. Sneaky wallpaper. Hi, Chrisogram. Open drawer. Open cupboard. You open the wardrobe. Look and wardrobe. Wardrobe contains a stack of old cracked flower pots, a broom, and an empty keg. Geologist pick could be a, an ice pick. Yeah. Maybe you need an umbrella or a hook. <sighs> All right. Oh, no. Hi, Cage. Hello. Welcome. How are you today? How's it going? How's it going? I hope you're having a nice day. Chat. Can you see? Oh. There she is. Hey, pretty. Look at that face. What a girl. What a funny girl. Okay. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. What about the pool cue? Look under pool table. You don't see anything noteworthy. Play pool. You know you need a cue. Take cue. There's no one to play with. 
Look at pool table. Eight squat turn legs. It has a green by surface. Move ball. That achieves a little effect. X, wait, X, pool, Q. Upon closer inspection, you conclude the pool cue is definitely made of hard rock maple, prized for its stiffness and straight grain. Huh. X pool table. Oh, okay. X ball. Nice and shiny. Huh. Okay. Uh, can I take ball? Uh, okay. I'm not bad. My partner and I have been sick. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. I'm sorry that you're sick. Yeah. Have you been playing any video games? Taking it easy? What have you been doing? X candle? Um, okay. No, that didn't work. X glass? There's a brilliant shine on the squeaky clean drinking glass. Uh, X lamp? Okay, no. Uh, hold on. Maybe I need to X some things in here. X clock. X pen. Wait, what's this? Why is it smoky over here? Look at fireplace. Fireplace legs and header are carved with simple linear flourishes. You imagine provides invaluable heat during a long winter months. See a length of telegraph tape smoldering. A length of telegraph tape? What do you mean? A length of telegraph tape smoldering in the fireplace? There's some powdery soot accumulating in the fireplace. Uh, take telegraph tape. You carefully pick up the telegraph tape. Most of the telegraph tape has been consumed by the fire, but you can barely make out some words. Bridge, bomb, sabotage, await? Despite your careful handling of the telegraph tape, it crumbles into ash. Uh-oh. Okay, Andrew, have a good day. Lick the soot. I've been gaming a bit. My poor partner has been bedridden. Oh, thankfully he's finally on the mend. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ash said hi. Nah, you done it. Uh-oh. We should have licked it. Okay, wait. Take soot. You have enough soot. Okay, okay. I kid, I kid. <laughs> the plot thickens. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at our notes. What did that what did that add to our notes? Telegraph tape says bridge, bomb, sabotage awaits. I just got home. Did we find the ice pick? No, but we found a note in the fireplace. We found a note in the fireplace that says bridge bomb sabotage awaits. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Luke tapestry. Although the tapestry is a little faded with age, there's still rich colors woven in detail. Look under tapestry. Okay. Look under rug. Okay. X rug. Okay. X tapestry. Okay. Uh, X book. Okay. Can you read the tape? Yeah. What did the tape say? The other station there at the bar? Easy on the scotch. Lift rug. No, there's nothing under the rug. It says there's nothing under the rug. Okay, look, look, desk. This is Evan Richards' writing desk. This sturdy mahogany surface sits on a double pedestal, each of which boasts a drawer and a cupboard. On top of the desk is a blotter, a brass lamp with a green glass shade, a clock, and a pen stand set. X clock. X pen, X desk, A pin drawer, 
Oh, I have to walk closer to it. Open drawer. The drawer is locked. Open cup or cup cupboard. The desk is locked. Okay. Open cupboard. Whoops. Open cupboard. You open a glass pane cabinet. Look in cabinet. Glass pane cabinet is full of curios and memorabilia, old tarnished trophies, and an assortment of glass and ceramic vases. X cabinet. Oh, okay. A pin. A cupboard. They say there was a desk mat. Lift the map, perhaps. Lift rug. I'm loving the key keyboard. Wait, you could hear my keyboard? Y'all could hear my keyboard chat? Huh? What did the tape say? Oh, God. Okay, look. Book. Yeah, we can hear it. None of these books are necessary for me to read. Oh. I did not know. Look. Okay. I like the clicks. It sounds nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's good. That's good. As long as it doesn't sound annoying. Yeah. Okay, there... Okay, what about if we open the oven? Open oven. Unfortunately, that doesn't accomplish anything. Okay. I don't know what to do. Open, maybe we missed something outside. Open door. Okay, open door. The cellar door is locked. Okay. Look on look under rug. Oh my god. Definitely. Definitely. Chat, I don't know what to do, what to do. Okay. I hear the birds. I can't leave until I've accomplished my goals. Unlock door. Hi, Grebog. There's a lock pick when you need one. For real. Okay, we found a canoe over here, but that didn't help us. This lady over here, we already... We fell into the water earlier today, chat, by the way. This guy's being a jerk. The bridge? Oh, yeah, let's look at the bridge. Look, bridge. The bridge is sturdy enough to support the weight of an automobile. You passed over it to get to the lodge. Okay. Bridge, bomb. Bridge, bomb. Sorry, you can't do that. I actually know exactly what to do. Do you, Mike? Look under, look under bridge. You don't see anything. We got the whistle from here, and we called the ducks. Dig. We already took a river sample. Okay. Whenever we dig, it says that we're, we're getting the river sample. We took some salt. Lick. Meat. Doesn't look very appetizing. Did you quack any jokes with the ducks? So we, um, wait, what? No, the note. Bridge bomb. Okay, no. Bridge bomb sabotage await. Bridge bomb sabotage await. Look under the bridge. I tried looking under the bridge. Oh my god. Y'all got jokes. You're not deeper in the forest. Luckily, there's a path to guide your way. Looking north, you see the lodge. East is the smokehouse. West is the scientific overview of the lodge. South is the jetty. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. There's the apples here. We can't take any of the apples. Can I dust axe? No, it won't let me dust the axe. I don't know how I'm supposed to get anybody's fingerprints here. Take veggie. Whoops. Take, take veggie. You wouldn't dare. Yes, I would. Yes, I would dare. Wh whistle. Good night, Pax. I used the whistle on the lady and then looked at her shoes. Hi, Neil Freeman. I look. I whistled at the lady for her shoes, shoe prints, and we found out that she's like a si six or a six and a half. Dig, dig, garden. I don't know. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Maybe I could get one little teeny itty bitty small baby hint. Break rock. You have a strong tool to obtain a glacial erratic sample, and now you need a sharp tool to help chip off the boulder. Hi, purple! Yeah, this game is game of the year. It's so great. It's awesome. Hi, Minoc. What's up? What's up? Okay. I've been stuck for a really long time. It's a really cool game. A Maple Mystery who raided us earlier made this game. Her name is Julia Minamata, and she made this game. It was really freaking awesome. You could get it on Steam. I'm playing it on Steam. Uh, it's in the kitchen. I feel like it's in the ice block. I feel like the ice pick is in the ice block. Yeah, the ice pick has got to be in the open door. Open the door. Yes, yeah, an indie game. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. Okay. Take kettle. You take the kettle, but you resolve not to leave the kitchen with it. You can't imagine someone just walking away with your kettle. Are you kidding me? Ah! You cannot be serious. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I thought I wouldn't be able to take a hot kettle it's hot what if I burn myself uh, open ice box a crimson diamond please <laughs> melt ice how would you like to melt the ice? Pour water on ice. You eagerly pour some hot water onto the ice block. What? Ash is boiling. Hold on. I have a question. The ice, when we looked at the ice, okay. When we open up the ice bo box, she goes, oh, I better close the ice box because ice is probably... Hard to get around these parts. It's few and far between. So now we just randomly melt into people ice. It could take them months to get more ice. Oh my goodness. 
Aha, some of the ice has melted away, revealing a wooden handle. Well done. After stealing the kettle. Take wooden handle. After a few tugs, you're able to pull the wooden handle out of the ice block. The rest of the tool is pointy and made of metal. Hooray, it looks like I found an ice pick. Jack must have left the ice pick on top of the ice block, and when the ice melted and refroze, it gradually got swallowed up. Well done. Do I still have... I have a tea kettle! Where am I holding this tea kettle? In my pocket? What? <laughs> I heard in North America that electric kettles are not common household items. I don't have an electric kettle. I have a regular kettle like this one. But I think a lot of people have electric kettles or they boil water in the microwave. I don't do that, but... You've never seen my wife's purse as possible. The kettle's not your helmet. That's true. The dress looks like it has pockets. Yeah. Julia didn't want to animate Nancy walking around holding a kettle. I can relate. Okay, wait. Can I look at the kettle? Your eyes water and the loop fogs up from the steam pouring out of the kettle. You can't really examine it more closely. You don't see anything exceptional about the ice pick, but it would make a fine pick for your field work. Okay, close. Break ice. Using ice pick, you chip a little bit of ice off the ice block. Oh, we got some ice, chat. Can we lick the ice? Can we lick it? Peering through the loop, you can see the tool marks you made on the ice pick, chipping the ice off the block. It reminds me of the tool marks in the rock specimen. Okay. Lick ice. That doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> you drink the scalding water from the kettle. Lick the ice and lick the kettle. <laughs> I'm not about to haul this hot kettle around with me. Before you leave the room, you return the kettle to the stove. Good job. Good job. Okay. Open door. Hold on. Now. Okay. Wait. I want to see something. Like the eye, so you can get your tongue stuck to it. Hi, Fa Eye. Hello. It's lick the salt, then the lime. Okay, wait. Break rock. Do you mind, miss? I'm busy here and cannot be disturbed. Oh, sorry. How can I make Albert leave so I can get a sample of the boulder? Hmm, how do I usually annoy people? Take, uh, take tools. He's a little peeved. I shouldn't agonize him. Maybe if I ask him nicely. Okay, whistle. Stab Albert with the ice pick. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a Crimson Diamond. Start singing. I don't appreciate that. Sing. There's no voice acting in this game. <laughs> good <laughs> hi mr j real oh my gosh that is so funny wow just don't throw salt in the dude's eyes that would be rude lick man <laughs> wow okay 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 wait um what if I put ice down his shirt? Um, okay, break rock. Don't disturb the comorants. Listen, she needs to get out of here. Put arsenic from the flypaper into his lunchbox. Prank. Okay, she's going to leave. All right, we need her to get out of here. Goodbye. Break rock. Okay. You chip a sample out of the cliff using the ice pick and the hammer. Hooray, looks like I've obtained a good cliff sample. A note has been added to your notebook. Sweet. Okay, let's take a look with our loop. 
Upon closer inspection, you can see that the cliff sample is coarse grain, leading you to conclude it is an intrusive igneous rock. Diamond is an intrusive igneous rock, meaning they form below the Earth's surface where they had time to form into large crystals. It's possible that this area could be geologically suitable for diamonds. Oh, like a crimson diamond, perhaps? Perhaps? <laughs> While she's near the river, push her in it. Oh, we did that. Mike, I fell in the river. I fell in the river earlier today. I couldn't believe that that was even possible. A murder percent run? <laughs> wow. Okay, save. All right. I'll play a horror game like that. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. We got the, the pick. Oh, ads are playing. Not your game, and I do a Mill House voice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. What a rip! <laughs> Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty quarters. Oh, what a rip! Yeah, Lion King video game, which I still have yet to beat. I still have yet to complete. Okay, we got the ice pick. So now that we got some ice, we got, we were able to look at this. Um, I can see this area is so good for garnet mining. Oh, I was supposed to look at that like regular too? Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. How many bits to force the Lion King stream? Oh gosh. Why did I have a bowl, Bart? Why did I have a bowl, Bart? Why did I have a bowl? <laughs> you got an ad for your college? Wow. Okay. What else can I break? Let's see. Hey, what are you, what are you up to? Pasta power. Pasta power. Thank you so much for the 14 bits, Azur. Okay, talk. Maybe if I keep talking to him, he'll walk away. Talk, man. I'm very busy. Uh-huh. Are you trying to tell me business? How amusing? Run along. Huh. Okay. Um, annoy, man. Can't use annoy in this game. Hi, Emil. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, help, man. Look at tools. Albert Respa's field kit lies open on the ground. You miss your field kit so much. Take field kit. Albert's a little peeved at me. I shouldn't antagonize him. Ask Albert to borrow tools. Wow, Mr. Respa, that's some field kit you've got there. Yes, please don't touch anything. Touch tools. Touch rock. That achieves a little effect. Break rock. Wait, show him the diamond rock. Can I do that? Show rock. No, that didn't work. This game is awesome. We're having a good time figuring things out. Um, yeah. And um, yeah. Oh, chat, by the way, no stream on Thursday. I'll be traveling for work. So I'm traveling tomorrow and I come back Saturday. So no, no stream on Thursday, unfortunately. But I'll be back on Saturday. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Okay, do inventory. Whistle didn't work. Should I whistle again? 
Whistle. Sometimes you gotta do stuff multiple times. Hope you have some fun. Yeah, it should be. We should be able to have some fun. I don't appreciate that. So he doesn't like noise. Huh. Star Lord, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much. How was your broadcast? What did you do? Thank you for choosing our channel. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had fun with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Everyone from my channel, please make sure to go and give Star Lord a follow. Go and check them out and go and hang out with them. And thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We're, we'll make sure to figure out the, the chat thing next time. Okay? I'll just I'll send you a message. I'll send you a message on Discord. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, and if you've never been here, my name is Ash. I play retro games and Nintendo games, and we're playing the Crimson Diamond today by Julia Minamata. It's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so we got a rock sample here. I wonder if there's other places we could get a rock sample. Break, rock, you're in a vandal. Okay. I think she can fall off the water here too, right? I must have had a lag on my end, let me refresh. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> what else can we do to annoy this man? Should I tell the guy that I found the ice pick? I don't know. Open door. Okay. Can I use rock on plate? Oh, uh, scratch rock on plate. Hmm. Inventory, what's it called? Cliff, a uh, cliff sample on plate. Can I do that? Cliff sample on plate. No, it didn't work. Okay, never mind. Can I Ash, break? The game. Cliff sample, okay. Sample, you're in a vandal. Um, I finished chapter 16. It's amazing. Save. Okay, I'm going to save right now. There we go. We saved. We saved. Okay, talk to man. Jack, I found your ice pick. Nice work, Nancy. Could I borrow this ice pick for a little while, Jack? Sure, you earned it. When I need it back, I'll let you know. Thanks. Okay. That was it. What does EGA mean? Uh, it's the color palette. So it means what colors are available in this game. So I think there's 16 colors in the EGA color palette. Right, chat? Am I correct? Is there 16 colors? So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, 16. It's the amount of colors that are available to uh, create the artwork with. Yeah. Enhanced graphics adapter. Thank you, Brother Bill. Back in my day. Okay, well. What the heck? Open door. Neat. PR Deltoid. How are you? Welcome in, by the way. Okay, we got the note about the bomb and the bridge. Talk about bomb ask about to ask questions what i can ask people about stuff huh i didn't know i could do that oh my god open door hold on a minute okay Ask about bomb. 
bomb? I don't know anything about no bomb. What do you know? Uh, nothing. No. Ask about bridge. Ask about bridge. Jack told me the bridge got damaged and the train's not running right now. It's a shame. I wonder if they'll bother to fix it. Huh. I didn't realize I could do that. Hero's Quest. And let me do CGA EGA. A literal game changer. It reminds me of Monkey Island. Yeah. Ask about bridge. It's been an accident. Bridge got damaged. So the train's not running. Ask about bomb. What have you heard? Uh, nothing. Why she don't want to tell nobody? Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Open door. Open door. I have an idea, chat. I have an idea. Okay. Okay. Ask about rock. Excuse me? I was curious about your professional interest in this glacial erratic. This rock is granite, which is a type of intrusive igneous rock, but not the appropriate type. Will you please leave me alone? Granite has a high quartz content, whereas diamonds are found in ultra basic rock that has a low in quartz. What will make you stop? Furthermore, granite diamonds don't even come from the same depth in the earth. Listen, miss. Miss Nancy Maple, Mr. Respa. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Maple. I have just about enough of your help. I'm returning to the lodge to get out of the sun. When I return to my work, you will not interrupt me. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. Okay, Miss Mr. Respa. I did it. I figured it out. I did it, chat! I should take advantage of Albert's absence and study the fascinating boulder. X boulder. Closely examine the glacial erratic with the loop, you can definitely conclude that it is granite. The glacial erratic has a paneritic texture that means the crystals that make up the boulder can be seen by the naked eye. This particular specimen, I did it! Yeah, I love this game. Kim Sanity. Are you going to get it yourself, you think, ever? Yeah, you could do X for examine. This particular specimen is composed of mostly quartz and some feldspar, which is typical. Okay, break rock. You chip the sample of the glacial erratic using the ice pick and the hammer. It's essential to make my field work comprehensive and including anything geological interesting, even if it doesn't apply to my goals. Maybe one day someone will be conducting field work on glacial erratics, in which my observation will be vital. Oh, I should ask Albert about this quickly, borrowing a tool or two from his kit. The tools will help so much, and I'd put them right back. I should go and ask his permission. Okay, take tool. Albert's a little peeved. Okay, all right, we won't just take it. I have the boulder sample. I shouldn't delay Albert any further. I'll go have a word with him. What? Why did... Oh. Okay. Uh-oh, where did Albert's kit go? Uh, what? Who took the kit? Who took the kit? Who took the kit? Hi, CarTube! Hello, welcome! What's up? Everyone should go buy this game, no joke. Julia worked hard on it. Yeah. Plus paying for the game means she can work on even more awesome stuff. Exactly. I took it. I wanted to learn kits. Open door. Okay. Yes, everybody should definitely get this game. It's so good. Okay, let's find Albert. CarTube, that Amiga game you were playing today looked super neato. Did you finish it? Leisure Suit Larry from the 90s. Yeah, this is definitely inspired by DOS uh, text parsers. Definitely. You convinced me to get the game? Nice. Yes, I think you'll enjoy it. It was great. And you finished it? Oh, awesome. I want to play it myself. I love those kinds of games. Where is he? Is he taking a bath? Yeah. And um, the Colonel's Bequest. 
which I know is one of Mike's favorite games. I don't know where he went. Hi, Duke. What's up? What's up? How are you? Okay. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Not in here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Talk. Um, ask Albert about tools. Say, Mr. Respa, may I borrow a tool from your toolkit? Please enter to advance text, escape to skip cutscenes. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Duke? How you feeling? What's new? I hope you've been doing great. I hope you're feeling better. I hope the move's going great. I promise to put them right back once I'm done. Certainly not. I've had enough of a break. I'm returning back to work now. Albert abruptly turns to the, on his heel and makes for the door. Man, what's stuck up his craw? Albert is gone for a while. You're about to leave the kitchen when you hear his heavy footsteps once more. My field kit's gone. Did you do this, Jack? Mm, no, I surely didn't. Where is it? Mr. Richards will hear of this. Who knows? Could be a bear carried it off. You can't go leaving stuff outside unattended. Fingerprints all over it. The last package finally arrived. I got my regular desktop operational. Let's go. I don't think Mr. Richards care much about your problems. Why don't you just sit tight until the bridge is, re is repaired? Then you can get out of here and never come back. My superior will send me a replacement kit. Take me to the train station immediately. Can't. Car's broken. Darndest thing. I put it in the carriage house and a part of it broke right off. I haven't got a replacement. Nathan's got a car and spare parts. Only he's not around, you know? So please go make yourself a drink and enjoy some of our northern hospitality. Albert glares but says nothing. Uh-oh. But I nearly finished my work for the day, but I really ought to rub the samples on my streak plate. Rub sample on streak plate. Please be more specific about what sample you like to try. Okay. Glacial Okay. Oh, I didn't look at it under the loop yet. Okay. All right, okay. And this one is the Ignatius Rock. Okay. What is this one? Okay. Uh, rub glace, glacial sample on plate. You rub the sample from the glacial erratic onto the streak plate, but no streak is produced. The sample is granite, which has most hardness of six. So I'm not surprised that it didn't make a streak. Okay. R Wait, what's the other one called? What is this one? First glance is clear that the clip... Oh, the cliff sample. Okay. Okay. Ash, save the game. Save the game? Okay, okay. Save... Okay, rub cliff sample on plate. Because the specimens are embedded into the cliff sample, it's a bit too awkward to rub against the streak plate. It's okay, there's still a nice sample and a good piece of fill work. Okay. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Huh. Older case, Corsair. Oh, yeah, save, save, save. You got a nice bit, bit of exposition just then. Yeah, we did a lot of work right there. Okay, talk, man. Sorry if I seem distracted. I got a lot on my mind. You can talk to me if that would help. Thanks for the offer, but I'm fine. Ask about car. The automobile is Mr. Richard's pride and joy. It was a lot of time and trouble to get up 
to crimson. And essentially seeing is how the lodge is hours away from the train station. Sometimes it has some mechanical troubles, but Nat helps me out when that happens. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hmm. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Hmm. Okay, chat. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game again. I'm going to call it because I have to fly in a few hours. I need to get some sleep before I fly. So I'm going to end it here. And we'll pick it up when I get back. We'll pick it up when I get back on Saturday. How's that sound? Did you have fun watching the Crimson Diamond? This game is freaking amazing. You gotta get it. Here, let me put the let me put the Steam link in the chat. I'm gonna put the Steam link in the chat. Hold on. Share. Where are you? Why is it not letting me? Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna do it this way. Yeah, have a good trip. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be back Saturday. So glad you came back to this. We'll, we'll continue more. Yeah, because you reminded me. You reminded me. The Crimson Diamond. There we go. On Steam. Is this game on GOG or is it only on Steam? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Cartube. Thanks, Namalki. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Purple. Thanks, um, Julia. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, Goemon. That was really fun. This game is fantastic. Yeah, thank you, Duke. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking a business trip. It is on GOG and Itch. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, there's my Discord. Jump in. Hang out. Talk to me while we are offline, you know? Oh my gosh, Washington. That emote combo. So good. So good. Yes. Um, thanks, Scone. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for thanks for talking to me about whether cake or pie is better. That was a really fun that was a really fun chat. That was a really fun chat. It was really good. Um yeah. Thank you, Duke. Yeah, I'm going to try my best. I really do actually need to get some rest because I've not been sleeping so great lately. So, yeah, I do need to do that. That is a good call here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this game is so great. This game is so great. Speaking of GOG, why don't we just raid the GOG channel? Kilgore is on right now, and I see I see Kilgore's kitty. Kilgore has a kitty cam camera right now. Here's my socials. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Threads, Blue Sky. Also, it's a good idea to follow the GOG channel because I stream there every Monday. I and so does Fractal Mind Mike streams on the GOG channel. CarTube streams on the Go GOG channel. Kilgore, um, King Argaroth. There's so many people that stream on the GOG channel that are really awesome. Um, Piran, who else is there? Um, lots of great people. Bit Bittleman. Um, yeah. There's always somebody cool to hang out with on the GOG channel. So you might not be able to chat until you follow the channel. Keep that in mind if you um, can't chat. I think it's followers chat only. But yeah. I I stream there every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. So I could definitely check it out. Oh, Bobby scratching. She wants my attention. It's time for me to go. Okay, chat. Here's the well, actually, I don't know if we should drop the raid message in chat. It might, I don't know if it'll get timed out. Don't drop the raid message. Yeah. Thanks, Brisby. Yeah, don't put the raid message. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna get timed out. 
Um, but do say hi to Kilgore. Kilgore is really freaking awesome, very nice, wonderful human being, and uh, knows a lot about movies and games and stuff, and is also a musician and teaches guitar. So, yeah. All right. I'll see you all over there. Don't forget to tell your friends Ash that hi. Bye.